and they'll, they'll listen for different sounds and things. Every time I do that, you know, I'm knocking off a few shingle granules. I, I don't like that. Well, I, I do like to, to pry a shingle. You know, just kind of break the seal. And now we can get underneath the shingle. All right. And, and break it off as you're trying to... No, no, no. <laughs> and if you feel like you are going to break it off because it's too cold or whatever, okay. you know, you lift, lift, lift some more. All right. Uh, get, get yourself some more flexibility here. Right, and so, but you're right. This is this is dangerous. Yeah. What, what I'm doing with this shingle, and I want to make sure I'm not just taking this, you know, haphazardly folding it. I'm, I'm trying to keep a, a gentle bend here. But now I've got access to to this part, and and we can either take a nail with a hammer, or we can take a drill with a, a drill bit, a small one. You know, small holes are always better. And I'm going to look for the edge oh, of right. this, mm -hmm. like that. and then and then measure in three quarters of an inch to get into the center. Mm -hmm. and, and then we can always fill those holes uh, that we made, you know, because you'll have your your, your tube of sealant up here, and you can just you can fill that in, uh, and then you know you can create a new seal tab at the end.